Hello. This video is aimed primarily at those who aren't familiar with the automower and are perhaps considering buying. Let's take a look at just a few of the control panel options. Pin entry is required after pressing stop because the default security level of medium mandates it. I'm going to focus on security which requires pin re-entry. Let's change the level to high, something I do when leaving the house empty for an extended period. The only difference is that the alarm will sound 10 seconds after the auto mower is interfered with unless the pin is entered. In advanced settings, among other things, you can change the pin or the duration of the alarm or time lock. I'll increase the alarm period to 5 minutes and have already increased the time lock to 90 days. The time lock stops the mower being used until the selected number of days have passed or the correct pin is entered. Let's give it a try. Off she goes. Press stop. A warning beep sounds and then the alarm shrieks. Entering the pin silences it. In messages we can see that the mower was stopped and get some further details. You can see that various other fault messages are available. All this is very intuitive, incidentally. The information messages might be worth browsing too. The Connect module offers extended security. It's standard on the 450X, optional on a number of other models. There's no time to go through all these options. But you can see that Husqvarna seemed to have thought of everything. In settings, Eco mode is perhaps worth setting on. It removes power from the loop wire while the auto mower is docked, saving a little electricity. I intend investigating power use in my next video. General covers pretty much everything you'd expect, date and time and so on. I'll look at some of the more significant options that I've skipped in future videos. But that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.